Welcome to Projects for All. My name's Mike, and today we have Flex's six and a half inch circular saw to check out. Now, we've already done the drill and driver. That video you can link at the end and have a look because this hammer drill absolutely manhandles this 17 inch auger bit through some treated wood. I'm pretty impressed with this stuff. I'm hoping this will be more of the same. This comes with a five year warranty and a five amp hour battery. Let's get it out of the box, check it out, and we'll get some two by 12s in here and see if it's any good. First inline circular saw, superior visibility and control, 20% more power, 25% longer runtime, and 50% faster charging. I will tell you, we've already done the drill and driver and these batteries charge fast and I was pretty impressed. So we'll do some times on the batteries in this one. Cuts 3X lumber in one pass, up to 430 cuts in a two by four with the five amp hour battery. I love when they make a claim because we're gonna figure that out. There's our battery, already charged up and ready to go. Beefy batteries, man. Nice over mold, a little dirty because I already used it once for the other video. We get whatever that is and a sticker. Six and a half inches, five eighths arbor. This thing's fast, man. 160 watt fast charger. You get a nice, nice bag, nice and thick, some pockets, not bad. And we get our inline circular saw. This thing looks pretty big for a six and a half incher. World's first, maximum cutting capacity, exceptional runtime. There's a lot of metal here. I like what I see. It does not feel like 7.1 pounds out of the box without the battery. Let's get in close and have a look. Crazy profile on this thing. Skinny. Man, look at that dust elbow. This thing's got a legit dust elbow right on it. Nice scale. All metal. Man, that feels nice. Nice and smooth. We go from zero to 47. Yeah, a little spring steel lock out there. So, we go to 45, pull our lock out and go all the way to 47. Not bad. This one feels pretty good. It's tight. Yeah. Stop. No messing around. Nice beefy lever on this thing. All metal. No plastic to be found. I like that. We got our depth. This side here, our depth release for our shoe. An arbor lock right there. And a wrench. Doesn't clip down, but it fits in that hole kind of snug. It just sits there. Do not put your fingers here <laughs> when you all release this. I already smashed my finger in there once. There's your release. It has the skill we've come to know from skill tools. Quarter inch, half inch, three quarter, and two X right there. Butter smooth, just like the rest of them. It's probably, yeah, it's hinged right here. Makes a really nice feeling adjustment. Locks down, got a rafter hook. Nice and beefy, got a nice detent. Locks itself in pretty solid. And we got our ambidextrous safety. Nice feeling switch, feels different. It doesn't have that big clunk when you pull. Shoe on this one is smooth. Smooth as glass. Nice powder coat on this. Looks good. Metal parts abound. This whole thing is metal. Everything on the front of this is all metal. Plastic on this, but feels like nice plastic. Nice hover mold. Let's put our blade in and see what we got. Not that it makes any difference at all, but it's a cool looking blade. I like the name. And the color, we will not be able to read any of that soon. Reverse thread on this one. Let's see if I can do this gracefully. 
Never. No way to do this gracefully. Well, that's nice and long. Jeez, pretty standard heat washer. And a bolt. Wood forming, 24 teeth. Framing, forming wood blade. Active speed tooth design. Okay. Whatever you say, marketing department. I kind of wish that clipped down. Battery's charged up. Good position for the LED. I think you'll get a little bit of light on things. Let's see. All right, let's get some wood mounted to the table saw. And we'll check out the dust collection and let's see if this thing's any good. So it took me a minute or two of staring at this thing to figure out what this was. It was included in the box. If having a rafter hook on your circ saw is just something that you cannot bear, you pull some T20 screws out and they give you a cover to delete it, which I don't see any reason to do, but you know, I'm sure there's a guy out there that'll say that thing's got a rafter hook on it. There's no way I would buy that thing. So for you, sir, back in business. Per usual, when we're doing a Cirque saw, I got a two by 12 set up right here. Pulling the trigger without releasing the blade safety turns on the LED light, which is a feature I really like. Inside there, on the inside, right there, there is a line with a zero. So you get your zero on the outside there. 45 and zero mark per usual. Oh, it's so hard to get in there. Right there, you got a zero. So you can watch the inside also to keep this thing straight. So here's your zero right here. The zero and the handle are perfectly aligned. Everything is one straight line, but it is still has a left side orientation. So it is, it has a little bit of a left side orientation. It is all in line, but it still favors the left side. So for righties, this is gonna be a little bit better than for lefties if you're doing this from the other side. So here's your view if you're a righty. The dust port swivels so you can stick it on the other side. Here is your view if you're a lefty. It isn't bad. This is totally usable, but it is not as good as if you're a righty. 430 cuts is the number to beat. Let's see if we can't get close. One 5 amp hour battery, 24 volts. Let's count these puppies up and see what we got. 13 stacks of 10 
a couple little pieces. That is all the dust that was on the floor. That's not really that bad considering this is a circular saw and not a table saw. We had three stoppages. One was the battery cut off and then it did like another 30 cuts after that. I will say probably I was binding this up. This would be another 10. So if we can agree that one cut on a 2x12 is equal to three cuts on a 2x4. This thing pulled 400 cuts out of one 5 amp hour battery and I am freaking impressed. Smooth as butter. What did the old rigid produce? Ah, not bad, man. A lot of dust ended up in here. Ah, dust everywhere. Fairly deep. Not bad. Filter. Ridiculously old and clogged. Maybe one of these days I'll buy a new filter. So what do we think? Absolutely amazing. These tools, these core tools, these are the tools you're going to use the most. The drill, the driver, the circular saw. This stuff performed absolutely at a professional level in my opinion. The only bad thing I can tell you about all of this is a little loose on the battery for the drill. Otherwise, I have absolutely no complaints. The inline circular saw, the form factor, it's easy, it's balanced, it's easy to use. It made almost 400 cuts on one regular five amp hour battery. These aren't the stacked lithium batteries that I've been hearing such good things about. These are the regular batteries. And we're gonna get to those stacked lithium batteries soon. I have a sneaking suspicion. We got the stack pack coming down I went online and I bought every single accessory that you can get for that. And we're gonna check that out probably around the end of next month. If you like this video, hit like, hit subscribe. It very much helps out the channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.